What are you doing? That's our tiny house. We are Levi and Savannah, and we recently just bought a tiny house on wheels. What? And Weston! Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, restart. We are Levi, Savannah, and Weston. We are a small family living in Southern Ohio, and we just recently bought a tiny house. This is our current project, renovating this tiny house for the purpose of Airbnb. So today we're going to be giving you guys a tour of it, of the before, and I'm really excited to show you guys. Oh, look at you. Whoa! <laughs> yeah? Yeah? I'm going to eat you. Yeah! Do you remember? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you just got distracted. Are you enjoying the sunshine? Scratchy head? <laughs> I'll help. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up. That's probably why I look all squinty, but it is also very bright outside. <laughs> Today, we're going to be giving you a tour of our tiny house. Huge news. It showed up, and this is everything that happened the day it came. It was a total surprise. <laughs> what are you doing? That's our tiny house. I'm so happy we got this tiny house here. Came a day earlier. He literally just showed up randomly. I think you can even hear it in my audio clip of us working on the shed. I'm like, that's my tiny house pulling up. Are you excited? Yeah, are you excited for the tiny house? Look, they match right now. <laughs> Yay! Wow. Weston's ready to take you on a tour. What do you think of the tiny house? I love it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy it made it in one piece. The tiny house just got here. The mover and some Amish guys set it all up and it looks beautiful, I think. It's here, the tiny house. You guys ready for a tour? Weston, what do you think? <laughs> it's 32 feet long by eight feet wide. The ceilings are like 14 feet high, which is above the legal limit of driving uh, down the road, so. We got a pretty spacious tiny house compared to what normally they are on wheels. Ugh. Army crawling underneath the tiny house. They set it up on these block foundations, which is incredible, and these um, hurricane straps. So if there's hurricane or tornado, this thing shouldn't be flying. But if a tornado came through here, I'm sure this would be ripped to shreds. <laughs> it just won't tip over. Yay. You think but, it'd be ripped to shreds? What? You think it would rip to shreds? If a tornado ran right on top of this tiny house? Well, right on top. This tiny house would be gone. <laughs> My love is the only thing we gotta do is hook up the electric, the water, and the sewer. This is gross. All right, you guys are probably ready for the tour. Let's head inside our tiny house. It's like I've never done this before. I'm locking my hand at his tech. There we go. So you get in there with Weston. <sighs> <sighs> wow, that was interesting. Welcome to the tiny house. The keys stayed put the whole ride here. We did lose a drawer though. But other than that, this all looks pretty good. This is the living room of the tiny house. Like I said, super tall ceilings. There is white pine shiplap on the walls over here. We're gonna have to repaint it. And there's a couple windows. There's a glass sliding door behind me. When we add a deck, that is all going to tie in with itself. It came with a couch and a TV. We're going to be replacing this and totally redoing it. But this is the pretty spacious living room. We're also going to be adding a loft above it for more space. And on the other side, we plan on adding a window wooden door for more lighting. Right now it's just a wooden door. You got the stairs up to the loft. We'll get there in a second. But we have the kitchen. I love this window that overlooks this beautiful view. Uh, some cabinets, and this is a pretty spacious kitchen, but we're gonna be totally redoing all of this. New cabinets, new countertop, new shelves, uh, a new sink. On this side is some storage. Underneath the stairs, we'll probably be redoing these steps a little bit. 
and then it came with the fridge, but we're going to get a different fridge and redo this little section. So we will be remodeling this entire tiny house, even though there's nothing wrong with it. We just have a much different style that we like that I think will fit better on Airbnb and I think that you guys will like better as well. Behind me is the bathroom. Okay, for the bathroom, we have high hopes and dreams for the bathroom, but it all might come crashing down on us. We're not sure yet. We'd like to take this whole shower surround out and put a standing um, soaking tub with tile all around to make it look really pretty. We'd really love to put in a window here so you can soak and see the view, but not sure if that's gonna happen. We'd like to have a shower here so you can still, you know, shower and bathe. Don't know if it's possible. We'd like to move the vanity, a new vanity, over on this wall and maybe move the toilet over here so you don't have to, you know, do your business right by the soaking tub. So it'll be new vanity, new light fixtures, we'll be um, painting, it won't stay gray, and then this will hopefully go somewhere else. It's been a situation that we're not sure how to take care of yet, but we're gonna put our noggins together and figure it out. So that's the bathroom. Let's go up to the loft. I actually really like these stairs because they are so easy to go up. You just have to watch your head on the fan, but the fan will be gone, so we're not too worried about that. Okay, so up here, very spacious. I actually, my head is touching, but I'm in heels. Okay, this bed was left here, so it'll be gone. The carpet will be gone. The TV might stay. This is a light. It's very spacious up here. It'll have nice bedding, probably little side tables. There's lots of outlets up here, which is really nice. That's it for the loft. And you can be sure that there will be little fans up there for those of you who like to sleep with wind on your face like Levi. It's always an issue in a tiny home. You always want some fan, and there never is any. We'll have them for you, don't you worry. Yeah, we're sweating in this tiny house right now because there's no electric in here yet. The AC unit is right there in the middle, which is nice. The ceiling is actually really nice. <laughs> this is a funny angle that we'll probably keep. Uh, new flooring as well. Lots of stuff we're gonna be kind of redoing, so that'll be fun to record the process. But there's honestly, Nothing wrong with this tiny house that was move-in ready when we bought it, but just a new style. That was the tiny house tour. Now, on the exterior, it is blue right now. We are gonna take off that siding and put in wood siding and probably stain it black. So it's gonna be a black tiny house. And then for the decking, it's probably gonna be a U-shape starting off this left side, going all around the front, and the main stairs are gonna be on that side where you park. And you come out on the deck, look out the property. There's probably gonna be a hot tub out here, hopefully level with the deck, so you kinda of just step in the hot tub and yeah. <laughs> Yeah? He's excited. <laughs> he's excited. <laughs> wow, he's holding on to my hair. Uh, the price of this tiny house came as is. Think of a number in your head. What do you think it costs? I'll give you a second while Weston pulls my hair. <laughs> the price of it, we paid $34,000 for it. So, ah, not a bad deal. I think, I think it's a really good deal. If you look on those tiny house websites, they can go up to, I've, I saw one today for $125,000. It's, it's a little bit bigger than one we had, but some of them that are half the size are like 50, 60 grand. So I think we got a good deal. Especially if we were just gonna move straight into it. Yes, look at it up there. Doesn't it look so majestic up on the hill? Whoa, <laughs> is he holding on? Yeah. Is he smiling? He, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get you down. Good thing you're still light for now. You want me to reenact it? Ah! He pinched my neck. I have bruises <laughs> down my arms, and I never scream like that. Oops. His little fingernails hurt. Look. They they do. <laughs> oh wow, babe, this looks good. You like it, my love? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the siding? No, it's good. Are you gonna do the board and batten part on this side too? Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll look really nice. Update on the shed right here. Got one wall partially done. The roof is basically done. This will be where the uh, lawnmower goes, and the room's pretty big. And then here is the room where our stuff will be stored. Yeah, what do you think, Weston? <laughs> Tell Daddy, good job! See, it's pretty big space in it here. It is big. Weston. You're recording? <laughs> you turd. More. I better not see this in the bloopers at the end. Are we ready? <laughs> I'm actually really excited that we're starting the vlogs back up because every once in a while we'll go back and watch our old vlogs. Oh, sorry. And it's just so sweet to see Weston younger and what we were like and even all of Levi's different facial hair eras. <laughs> it's really fun to go back and watch. So I'm really excited we're doing the vlogs again. And I'm just, I'm really excited for this land to see how it's gonna bless our family. I've been walking around and praying and I don't know, it's just really sweet. And especially getting it while Weston's so young, it'll be exciting to see when he can walk and run around the hills and do Tootsie Roll. So I'm really excited that we're vlogging again. I'm really excited that you guys seem excited that we're vlogging again and just really looking forward to how this land develops and what the whole thing turns into. So now really we just need to finish up the shed and then start demolition on the tiny house, which will be very fun to do, won't it? I think that's it for today. Weston, you know how to do it. 